Hello Aries, I'm going to be doing your reading today. This is going to be a love reading for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It's going to focus on you and the person you're dealing with or thinking about. It's going to be a general love reading, so it will not resonate with everyone watching. Just because you're watching this video does not mean this is your story. So feel free to check out your other placements, your Moon, your Rising, and your Venus signs. Sometimes those can resonate a lot more than your Sun sign. So we're going to get right into it. Spirit for Aries, please. What does Aries need to know? In regards to love. What does Aries need to know? In regards to love. I'm using the Ojo Zen Tarot here as a um, oracle deck. For Aries. Huge thank you to everyone who has liked, commented, subscribed. I really appreciate it. Aries, in regards to love, what do they need to know, Spirit? Morality. Every time I see this card, I think of a prison. Like, their hands are like close together, like they're handcuffed, there's bars. What else for Aries? The source. Fire energy here. What else for Aries? The dream. Can I get one more? And we got comparison. Very interesting. So what I'm getting here is someone who is dreaming or thinking about someone from the past possibly or someone else. Someone very different than who they are with or who they know. But I strongly feel it's they're comparing who they're with with who they wish they could be. Now with the source, I feel like this is all about, it's very Ace of Wands energy for me. So I'm thinking a new beginning, something passionate and something that attracts or is magnetic. So I really do feel like someone feels stuck where they are and is thinking about someone else. And I keep getting these messages and I really wish <laughs> that spirit would switch it up but I think it's just that a lot of zodiac signs are going through the same situations right now based on the planetary shifts now I'm not an astrologer I watch YouTube videos of it um, because you know I don't know much so um, if you know of any astrologer youtubers please share them in the comments with um don't link them because then youtube will mark it as spam but just put their names and then i'll look them up because i love i think it's fascinating and of course tarot does have some connection to astrology so i'm always paying attention but i don't really know that much but i think because of everything that's been happening um i think that we're all in the same boat so let's see, let's get some insight into this person that you are dealing with. This is the Wild Unknown Animal Spirit deck. Spirit, give me some insight into this person that Aries is thinking about. Some insight, please, for Aries. Some insight, please into the person that Aries is thinking about. 
All right. Right here. And I don't know if this is you, Aries, or if this is the person you're thinking about that's feeling this way. Some insight, please, into this person spirit that Aries is dealing with. Lion. So someone wise. I always think of the King of Wands with the lion. They're very strong. Um, yeah, they're masters. The lion is respected by all, but known intimately by few. Lions are observant, stealth, and precise in their words and actions. They don't waste energy or resources. I think this is your person. Your person is thinking about how to like a very um, calculating. They're adding things up in their head. They're, um, they're really looking at the, at the situation like someone who's in control. The lion's always in control. Um, the lion always is, is patient. It's very similar to the crocodile where they're patient enough to always score, if that makes sense. So I feel like this is the way that your person is thinking about this situation as a lion. Tell me more about this person that Aries is thinking about. Okay. Oh, Stingray reverse. Stingray. So very uh, different energy here with the Stingray. Now it did come out reverse, which is weird because none of these are reverse. So that to me is like you know, take it that way because none of these other cards are reversed, but that one came out reversed. So I'm going to keep it reversed. And it kind of goes with what I've been saying too. Almost like spirit is confirming what I'm saying because the stingray tends to be someone without a spine, without courage, someone that doesn't have the strength to stand up to other people, but this is reverse. So this is someone who's definitely found the courage. Very interesting. What else? What else for Aries? Dragonfly. I'm going to look that one up too. This is about realities and imagination. So let's see. Master of light, illusion, and the mind awakens a sense of wonder and awe. Symbol of the mind, always moving, shifting, shimmering, and changing. When the dragonfly card appears, it's worth considering the quality of your mind and perception. The situation at hand may be different than it appears at first glance. The dragonfly reminds us to calm the mind so the light of wisdom can shine through. So this is somebody that sees clearly now. Again, I get the sense that they're able to look at something with this mindset now. Whereas before, they possibly missed a lot of things, you know, regarding you, regarding this situation with you. So let's see what we can get with the tarot here. I'm going to be doing a you and them spread. So... You will be on one side, Aries, and they will be on the other, but feel free to flip the rolls if they resonate more. I'm using the Crow Tarot today in regards to love, which is Aries, need to know spirit, in regards to love. All right, Aries, let's get into it. I'm going to start with you, Aries. What are Aries thoughts or feelings regarding this connection? Aries energies creeps in this connection. What can you tell me for Aries? The lovers reverse. 
So this is a bad choice. A bad choice in partner making the wrong choice because you are thinking either too much with your head or too much with your heart. Tell me more for Aries. Gemini energy there with the lovers. Six of Wands reversed. So there wasn't any success with this choice. No recognition. Also, someone's not seeing you or recognizing you here. Or maybe you cared too much of what, what people thought and that has guided your decisions. I am going to clarify all of these, but. Nine of Cups reversed. Nope, Ten of Cups reversed. So this is a very um, emotionally draining situation that you're finding yourself in. Here. Um, let me move this a little bit. So tell me about your person. What about Aries? Aries person, spirit. What are their thoughts or feelings here? Towards this connection. What are their thoughts or feelings? Spirit. Okay. Five of Wands reverse. So they want to overcome this, the conflict, the drama. Um, what else for this person? What are their thoughts or feelings? Ten of Swords reverse, definitely. They definitely want to overcome this ending. Um, maybe ask for forgiveness or release this, this difficult situation. That hap Something happened between you two. This person, the person that you're dealing with. Now again, I'm just going to... Um, be referring to this side as you Aries and this side as your person but if you're watching and it resonates the other way then just flip it but to not confuse anybody I'll just keep saying this person here your person your person I feel like is ready for a new beginning here tell me more for this person sir three of wands waiting what else? What else for this person? Nine of Pentacles reverse. So this person here could definitely be attached to something or someone. They are not free. Um, they are not free. Uh, they're attached to something or someone. They're not independent. So what's going on in this connection? Ace of Wands. The Ace of Wands up here. And Eight of Wands. So someone wants to talk about a new beginning. What else for this connection? Anything else that you can tell me about this connection? The Emperor's reversed. There, this could be an interference here with the Emperor's reversed or something's not able to be manifested at this time. Bottom of the deck, I have the Emperor. Interesting. The Emperor upright and the Emperor's reversed. So these two are not seeing eye to eye. This Emperor reminds me a lot of this lion. So it could very well be that this emperor is dealing with someone that might get in the way of communicating a new beginning. Or this emperor does not have the resources, the ability to manifest. Because right now with the emperor's reverse, this also symbolizes someone who invests in the wrong thing. They put all of their eggs in the wrong basket. 
and then they don't they're not able to manifest so let's get some more information here tell me about the lovers reverse What happened here with the lovers reverse? The Hierophant reversed. Interesting. Some sort of breakup contract that was broken. Commitment that was broken here. Taurus energy. There could have been a separation between you and this person. What else for the lovers? What else can you tell me for the lovers? Oops. The magician. So you're mind you're manifesting here something new. Yeah, there's the emperor again. You wanna you wanna take control over this situation. Aries. You wanna manifest something new here. Tell me about this Six of Wands reverse. For Aries, please. There's a Six of Wands reverse here. Page of Pentacles reverse. So an offer was never able to really come through. An opportunity was not able to begin here. Someone could have withdrawn their offer as well. There was no new beginning here. The Fool reversed. So something here was not able to get started. It wasn't on stable ground. Tell me about the Ten of Cups reversed. Page of Cups. This could be an apology and an offer of love, an expression of love here. Someone could be apologizing for disappointing you or expressing how they feel to you. Tell me more about this Ten of Cups reverse. But then we have the Page of Wands reverse. So it's like words, but no actions, no actual offer. Interesting. Bottom of the deck, the hangman. Because they're, they're hanging on to something or stuck somewhere. That's why they're not able to, they're able to talk to you, but they can't do much more than that. So let's see. What are they waiting for? Tell me about this Three of Wands. What is your person waiting for, Aries? Okay, Five of Cups. Another five for your person here. So they feel regret, sadness. They could be missing you. but still just waiting. Tell me more about the Three of Wands. Six of Pentacles. So they wanna make things right, even things out here. I think they know that this wasn't fair to you in some way. Tell me about this Nine of Pentacles reversed. Thank you. King of Wands, there's that lion. Tell me more about this Nine of Pentacles reverse. Someone's taking action on what they're attached to. Or at least, you know, having the courage here to deal with this. Tell me more about the Nine of Pentacles reverse. The Sun Reverse, another card for Leo here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Leo here. Two 
two of wands reversed. So they, they have made a decision. There could be children involved for this person. Does not have to be, but for some of you there are. They've chosen a path here. It wants to reverse the bottom. Tell me one more. I have one more. For this Nine of Pentacles reverse. Thank you. Knight of Swords. Okay, so they're going, they're moving fast. They might have gone back and forth. They might have doubted which path to go through. Maybe things weren't so clear to them. Um, maybe they're, they didn't have all the, I don't feel like this person has all of the answers. So it's not like this person knows exactly what's going to happen next. Um, but they're still going to drop a burden here. Yeah. And I feel like this burden has to do with their home stability maybe a lack of stability or maybe someone they are married to seven of swords reverse they might have found something out that was hidden here as well but this person's definitely taking action and fast so let's see what's this emperor's reverse about What's this Empress? Okay. We got the Nine of Wands here. What's this Empress about? What is going on with this Empress? And there, there you go. Eight of Swords. That's that morality card up here. Stuck. There's someone here that's stuck, tired. They are extremely guarded. There's no trust here. Possibly with this Empress, doesn't have to be, but um, they're stuck here in something and stuck in a situation that they cannot manifest. Tell me more about this Empress. That's way too many. Tell me more about the Empress reverse. Empress reverse barrel. The Empress reverse. Okay. Wheel of Fortune. That's this is what's gonna really get things moving here. The wheel is gonna turn and change this whole dynamic here of yeah, of being a hanged man. There needs to be a change for this person. Because otherwise you're just gonna stay here. Now, I feel like with the hangman, the person that feels stuck, which I think is your person, Aries, they know that they're stuck. Chariot reversed. They know they have to choose a new direction. So the chariot reverse is about, it's about no, not being able to move, having to choose a new direction because the direction you're in, you're stuck. There's no victory there. So with the hangman here, I feel like someone has perspective on or seeing a new angle here about what's not working out for them two of wands reversed here and then right behind that they have the queen of pentacles reversed and the knight of pentacles reversed so the queen of pentacles reversed tends to be a married person there's someone that cannot give anymore because they're just thinking of themselves of hoarding uh they're bad with money bad partner um lazy and then the Knight of Pentacles reverse after that. I feel like this, this is a delay and an offer and an opportunity. Uh, because right now they're stuck with an Emperor's reverse or a Queen of Pentacles reverse. And then yes, they need to make a new decision here. Two of Pentacles. Yeah, and overcome this, this situation so that they can have their Nine of Cups, definitely. That is what's happening here. This Empress, I feel, is a, a, a block. Because it's keeping someone trapped in their head and feeling like they, they can't give up. They have to keep their defenses up. They're a little bit paranoid. They're a little bit, um, they don't trust this Empress. They don't trust what's going to happen after they make their decision to leave this Empress. 
but they know this they they know that this is the game right this is not an illusion for them they know exactly what needs to happen what they need is a spine courage and it looks like they're getting that and this wheel is going to come in and change this whole dynamic if this resonated with you please let me know in the comments i love hearing from you if it didn't resonate with you that's okay it just wasn't your reading this time around check out your other placements sometimes those can resonate more and a huge thank you once again to everyone who has liked, shared, subscribed, and commented. I really appreciate it. And hopefully I'll see you all in another video. Take care.